Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we have that BMW 328XI E90 model, guys. You can see the one that looks like that. We uh, replaced rear window regulators and now they're not operating right. We'll show you what happens, guys. We have the light actually in the dash. Uh, let me show you. That states, uh, okay, when I start the car, that there is a problem with the window regulator. Okay, watch now, we have a couple bulbs we need to replace on it, but once they go away, okay, we're gonna have a window regulator coming. Okay, didn't do it now, I'll check it in again. It's just an orange window that's all over the place. And let me show you right here. You can see the window doesn't go up and down on its own all the way. I hold the button all the time and it stops. You have to go again and what happens, we need to initialize those. We need to program them with the computer. I'll show you how to do that with Max CCs that we have. We use on many vehicles and it's very powerful too. So stay with us, we're gonna show you how to do that now. Okay guys, so that's the tool we're talking about. It's really nice, convenient, light. It works on almost any vehicle that we've tried it so far and we probably worked on more than more than 100 vehicles and it works amazing. So really easy to do. Uh, you connect your device right there, that's a programming device to the uh, OBD2 port. Okay, and we're going to go to diagnostics. You can see all the vehicles you can deal with that thing. It's just amazing, amazing. Europeans, Asian vehicles, Americans, Ferraris and it's expensive, but it's not expensive as some, as some other ones. Uh, probably about 2,500 bucks with a one year free update. Okay, it's diagnosing now, connecting. That's the VIN number. We say yes. This is the correct vehicle, 328XI. And we're just waiting now to communicate and I'll show you what you need to do. You need to put the key in, turn start, okay, without pressing the uh, the brake pedal. So get the key out without pressing the brake pedal. Turn the pedal on. Everything is good there. So <laughs> that way now we're going to go to special functions here. We have I think something like that it's called. It's a little bit different on all vehicles so we need to see what this one will be. You need to make sure you have over 12 volts the battery. You can check right here, 12.2, which is pretty good in our case. And it started loading all the information about the vehicle. That's E90. It will work on E92, E93 models. And if you replace the regulators, we'll show you for front, the rear ones you can do for the sunroof. Okay, we're gonna go to hot function <laughs> right here. And you can see our voltage is dropping a little bit. Window door right here initialize window regulators okay switch on terminal 15 okay to have the ignition on pretty much and we're going to select which one we want we want on the passenger side rear okay do you want to start the initialization you can read all that the window will be open and closed okay Yes, and we're just waiting now. It's going to do it on its own, up and down all the way. So we're still waiting on the, in check whether you can open and close the window on the passenger side, automatic mode, da da da, you know, the usual stuff. So let's give it a try now and see. Okay, that's the icon I was talking about. So if you have that, okay, that's right there. Okay guys, I'm gonna go ahead and restart it now. You can see the light for the window regulator should be gone. Okay, not there at all anymore. Okay, let's see if it can go up and down on its own. Okay, let's give it a try. Yep, one touch button all the way down and up without stopping. So that, that initialized the regulator guys, that works pretty good, we, uh, I don't think we'll have more problems in the future. Thank you guys for watching, hopefully the video was helpful, subscribe please so uh, you can help us grow and we can make more helpful videos. Thank you guys for your support.